The latest Lara, Karima Adibib, tackled unprecedented training with the British military. From army combat to zipline tactics, Karima's role as Lara was the toughest yet. Can she live up to the top-notch standards set by IDOS? Time will tell. When I first got the job, I was told there were previous Laras before me, and I remember getting home and getting on the internet immediately, trying to do my research on these girls. I've taken a lot from what they've already done, because they're my predecessors. To better myself, I, I take the best qualities and try and put it into one. Leipzig, Germany. Nearly 200,000 people prepare to descend on the largest video game conference in the world. They want two things. A look at the latest games and a glimpse of Karima Adabib. <laughs> Her journey here began when she was just 10 years old. Everyone in school was talking about this new game that's coming out on Lara Croft. So I kept begging my mum, please, I want it for Christmas, I want it for Christmas. So I got it and I was just obsessed with it. So began Karima's training to assume the role of her own childhood heroine. Growing up in Morocco, I spent a lot of my time exploring, hiking, playing a lot of sports, living in the sun. At 18, athletic by nature and a gamer at heart, Karima had a go at modeling. I got this call saying there's a casting for Lara Croft. I'm Lara. Lara Croft. Lady Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Lara Croft. Lara Croft. I am the girl for this mission. With more than a thousand models gunning for a rather unique role, the competition was tough. But Idos knew right away who their Lara would be. She's obviously a very striking young lady. She's very intelligent. She speaks six languages. Karima is just extremely gifted at working a crowd. She gives every single person a little piece of her. Karima is about to wade into a sea of 183,000 convention visitors, 2,600 journalists, and 368 exhibitors from 25 countries. To be honest, I don't know whether it's the weight of the boots or whether it's the heaviness of the holsters. This sort of strange thing happens to me. The arms go up, the elbows go out, the back stands straight. I turn into Lara. A brand ambassador for a franchise that has sold more than 30 million units worldwide, Karima's day is an adventure itself. The first time someone held a mic in my face, it was awful. I couldn't stop shaking, stuttering, stumbling. But now, it's just like second nature. I find that now the people that are putting the mics in my face are shaking. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Laura is intimidating. I do get asked a lot of the same questions. One of them being, how do I feel about Angelina Jolie? You played on the film, I heard. No, no, no. I was in Alien vs. Predator. Yes, I was a sacrificial maiden. I got killed by a face hugger. <laughs> what else? How did I get the job? What I was doing before the job? What are my intentions later on? Do I want to be an actress? Do I want to be a writer, an astronaut? Do I have a boyfriend? Am I going to get rid of him? What happens on level seven? And Karima knows exactly what happens on level seven. A fact that does not escape fans' chat rooms, blogs, and message boards. Do it hit, man. All the boys love her. But the great thing is she's got lots of female fans for the fact that she's intelligent and she's strong and she's just as witty and clever. Lara is beautiful both in and out. Can't get any better than that. And with tens of thousands of fans clamoring for attention, an autograph, a hug, or bullets... You need to train. This mission is one that Karima is proud to tackle. I put a lot of heart into this job for the fact that I am a gamer. I've grown up with Lara, and now, ten years later, for the 10th anniversary, I am Lara. It's an odd job, it's an exciting job. It's a job that takes you all around the world. Who knew you could be Lara Croft as your day job?